So she's brittle, huh? Yeah, very. That's the original windshield. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. It makes sense. That's what they do when they get old. Yeah. Wow. Life is a journey. It must be gonna rain here in Phoenix because I'm getting her all washed up and hoping the rain doesn't come. She definitely needs a bath. All right, well, yes, I got my truck washed, and I, it didn't rain, but of course I'm going out in the dirty hay fields, which I would rather be in the rain rather than go out here and get my truck all uh, dirty with this kind of dirt. So we're following this farmer and he's gonna load up my truck with hay that we're gonna take to California. This is way out here in the middle of nowhere. And then we have to go back and weigh. Weigh in the hay. What you're seeing there is a solar farm. Which you, we, we see those all over the country, but uh, they're uh, farming sunlight right, right there. All those uh, panels are used to collect electricity. a dirty truck. So I'm on, a way, on my way back over to get weighed and then we'll be on our way. Well just as I was leaving the lady ran out to me and said they loaded the wrong hay on my truck. You guys ask if I ever get mad. I'm mad now. So now I gotta unload this hay here in this warehouse and then go back to some other farm. So yes, I get I get angry. And I'm angry right now. All right, we're getting reloaded out here. We're going back past the solar farm there. It's just one of those days where nothing's getting done. I've driven 123 miles and haven't done anything. <laughs> The exact same bales. So I think we're being uh, told not the truth. For some reason I can't prove this but I think they wanted those two loads 
over at that other warehouse and they just used us to get the loads over there. Now they're going to pay for this, but why not just tell us honestly up front, hey, can you run an extra load rather than making it seem like a mistake and telling us that they gave us the wrong hay when it's exactly the same hay. I'm looking at it right now. I guess I should become a conspiracy theorist. Well, those guys, they don't speak English, so it doesn't do any good to ask them any questions. So, just one of those mysteries. And she's buying the stairway to heaven. When I get mad, I would like to sing. It helps to release some of the anger. Especially a song like that. I got a seal on it. Lots of hay coming out the back. Not the kind that's going to bother anybody. So, trailer looks good. Get on the freeway. I don't know how far I'm going to get. If I could just knock out a hundred miles for the fun of it today, then tomorrow I only have to do 400, so. And the best thing of all, this one's uh, 36,000 pounds. Usually hay is more like 44, 40, 43 or 44,000 pounds. This one's only 36, so I'm glad I went back because the last load was lighter, I mean heavier, so. I would even, listen, I would even go back again if I could knock another 5,000 pounds off this. Then we would definitely be making up for the time that we're spending out here doing all this jacking around. So, let's get out of here. We're taking this to Central California. You know, California has a severe drought right now. And they kind of warned us that this was going to happen if whenever there's a drought... California can't grow as much hay, so they have to haul more hay from other states into California. So we're, I'm going to probably be hauling a lot of hay this year to uh, feed the cows that are in California, which, you know, we have to have our cows. So just kind of enjoying the quiet here. Now let's get going. Probably make it to like... Uh, life, something like that. stop early other than parking is because I like to get up early and stopping early makes me be able to get up early so I, I could actually drive another six hours but I like to keep my schedule the same almost all the time, otherwise I don't enjoy what I do. Despite the anger and everything today, the stress, it's going to be a good night. I'm just going to take it easy. 
and spend the night here in Ehrenberg. Good night, everybody, until the morning. My mama always said life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. And she also said you are watching Adventures in Trucking with Indiana Jack. What's funny about Coachella and Indio, there's a lot of homeless people out here that are wandering aimlessly. They, you know, right, right around the freeways as we get on the freeways, they're always hanging out there. And it must be because it's warm, but it's a bit too warm. If, if I were homeless, I don't, I don't think I'd want to be a roaming homeless man out here. I'm not really sure what's wrong with this man. Security's watching him from inside. Cause other people are reporting him, he's acting really odd. I think he's either on drugs or just mentally deranged. He knows that security's watching him, so he's moving away. Well, we're here on the scale in the Cajon Pass. And the thing about this scale is it's, it's always the one that I get inspected at. And since I don't have a windshield sticker, the chances of me getting my inspection are very high. You know, the CVSA sticker. And I'm the last one in line. There's nobody behind me. So, this could be it. Well, they didn't call me in the scale. Right now we're in Kramer Junction. And, uh, Gonna get some lunch in here before we cross over over to Hatcherby Pass down into the San Joaquin Valley. I uh, talk a lot about Kramer Junction, which is where we are, because quite frankly, I come through here a lot. I like to bypass LA and I go the back way. It's uh, a little bit shorter actually in time because of the traffic going through LA is so miserable. Plus the pounding freeways, the crumbling freeways there are really hard on my truck. So I always pass through Kramer Junction, which is a major hub here in the West. Oh well, even though I washed my truck yesterday, it didn't matter now. It's just as dirty and filthy. The rain didn't get it, but the, the cows sure did.
and the hay and the dirt and the dust and everything. We're here dropping off our load here in Central California and shortly we'll be done with that. Now the cows are happy, I'm sure. Well, last night we picked up in Bakersfield a load there going to uh, Utah. We stayed in Bakersfield and now we're headed to Utah. Currently we're on 58. Heading on over to 15. Where we'll be heading up that way through Vegas. Well, we arrived here in Salt Lake City and we have a door they're unloading me so hopefully it will uh, won't be too long this was a nice load it was nice and light no problems no hassles everything went perfectly smooth except the freeways you know, recently I've been watching Ice Road Truckers. I had never seen it before. And talk about bumpy roads. My gosh, I'm never gonna complain again about the bumpy roads that I ride on compared to the ones that they do. Trucking is an adventure, but life is a journey. I'm Indiana Jack, and we'll see you next time.